thieves have set their sights on one of the busiest areas in Albuquerque for unsuspecting tourists. That's right. So what makes it such a prime target? News 13's Jamie Seymour has answers. Tourists are finally making their way back to Albuquerque, but some are coming out of their hotels to find their belongings gone, including their cars. According to crime map data, hotels in one area in particular are dealing with an ongoing problem of car break-ins and theft. Over the last six months, there have been at least 25 reports of theft and break-ins west of the Albuquerque Sunport, seven south of Yale and Gibson, and 34 north of the intersection. The concentration of hotels and the, the uh, number of tourists that are concentrated in that one uh, small area, it, it gives them more opportunity. Imesh Vadia is the CEO of Premier Hospitality, overseeing properties across the state. He says many hotels are taking their own measures to combat thieves. Most of the hotels at the airport are spending up to $2,000 each per month to have their own security. APD says it's not just spots by the airport getting hit. They're seeing thefts in large parking lots across the metro, like malls and restaurants. Because there's a, a larger number of those vehicles, the, the thieves will choose to go to those because it's kind of a one-stop shop. Over the weekend, the Las Cruces High Marching Band had their truck full of instruments and equipment stolen from their hotel near the airport. They lucked out after police found the truck later that evening with most of the gear still inside. Lending us equipment so that uh, the, the band could go ahead and compete. Others were not as lucky. The Acoma Buffalo Dance Group were also the victim of thieves over the summer at a hotel near the airport. But the thousands of dollars in jewelry, moccasins, and more haven't been recovered, keeping them from performances. And it's not only just for our group, it's also for our traditional doings. APD says they're putting bait cars in those parking lots to catch the thieves, but Vadia says more needs to happen, like increased patrols. Well, we've learned that uh, we have to take measures into our own hands to keep our guests and our, our staff safe. Jamie Seymour, KRQE News 13. Since none of their stolen belongings were recovered, the Acoma Hopi Dance Group set up a GoFundMe account. We have a link to that. Just go to alwaysonkrqe.com.